In an encounter that has been playing out through the eras, a cold-blooded killer meets a curly snail thing. I've spent years in the wilderness making pond films, but now the studios want in on the action. But forget about newts and ram's horn snails, this time it's mega aquatic fauna. Ammonites and ichthyosaurs. And unforgettable performances in front of the camera. Hello, I'm David Pagan Butler. I've come down to the Jurassic coast of England, Dorset, uh, Lyme Regis, and I'm here to help with a pool that will be lovely. Uh, it's in a fabulous location just over there, up there in the hills, um, but at the moment it's a muddy hole in the ground and I've been asked for, for advice on how to sort it. Uh, so it brings me to this fantastic, uh, fantastic place, fantastic location, um, Lyme Regis. And um, Kate Winslet is in town. Um, she's filming uh, a, 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 an epic about Mary Anning. Well, I don't know about an epic. Anyway, there's, there's loads of scaffolding going up and, and scenery being put up. Um, uh, uh, obviously, it's a, a much higher budget than this film. Um, uh, but, you know, will it be as informative? It probably will be. Um, and is it, is it a coincidence she's in town when I'm in town? Well, yeah, almost completely, yeah, um, in fact, completely. Um, but anyway, I, I, look, I do look forward to uh, seeing a film about Mary Anning. Um, you know, she was an incredible woman who discovered lots of fossils. Although Kate might beat me to an Oscar for acting, I think I still left the door open for best her design. Onwards further west to Cornwall, and I am revisiting a pool conversion that has taken so long it seems to have been going on since the late Cretaceous period. At various stages I've given guidance for this pool, but the guys went all creative and slightly off script with the design, so I have to have a pipe rethink. Uh, this is the um uh, the, the pipe we're going to use under the gravel bed normally it's perforated land drain uh, and that's flexible but because these um, channels for the planted zone are really quite quite narrow um, we haven't got the radius of bend um, to um, to get them in quite comfortably so I thought we'd do multiple um, lengths of, of rigid pipe and we just drilled holes in because we haven't got the perforated stuff uh, and this is going to be the, the uh, airlift pump, or the bubble pump. Um, now, um, the end caps, normally have end caps like this to go into the sockets, but they cost about four quid each. And um, to cap the end there properly, uh, they, they cost about six quid. So we'll end up spending about 60 quid just capping the ends. Anyway, yeah, some old plant pots. Um, orange plant pots fit perfectly in there. They'll be fine because they've got holes in. That's a boon because we need holes. Uh, they a slightly larger diameter and they can go into the sock. There we go. Trying to herd a surfer, graphic designer and a yoga teacher to cooperate on moving a heap of gravel is like trying to herd surfers, designers and yoga teachers. Yeah, we've got about five stones. Yeah, over the stones, yeah. The pool is not yet fully filled for the circulation system to kick in, 
but this filter bed is already working. And my olive biofilter will help the biological balance of the water. Already the first newt has appeared and stayed, mainly because there's no way out until it fills. 